Welcome to Movie Recall. In today's video, we will be going through the 2019 movie Paradise Hills. It's time to recall, let's get started. Turn on subtitles and spoilers ahead. The movie starts and we see that in the near future, the people of the world have divided into two large societies. One is the Society of the Uppers, who are of course surrounded by all the technological advancements along with many other privileges, while the Lowers are merely trying to survive out there. The scene then changes to the wedding. We see the bride walking in, her name is Uma, and she does not really seem too happy. After a few activities, she is told that she is supposed to perform her duties now, so the next thing we see, she is in the bedroom being told by her new husband that he had no idea she would become this welcoming, reminding her that just two months ago she used to be a wild one and he found it really difficult to deal with her. The scene then changes to Uma waking up in a room that has large paintings on the wall. She is really weirded out by her surrounding, trying to get to understand what is going on. This is when two people come in with food and she uses this opportunity to run out of the room. She keeps running like a headless chicken and finds herself in what looks like a garden. When she keeps running, she almost falls off a cliff. The woman, however, ends up in a cave and there she sees another woman named Amarna. Amarna recognizes her as the new girl and goes on to tell Uma that she can help her escape. However, when they get out there, Uma is caught off guard by some men and it turns out she was just lying. When she is taken back to that place, she sees that all the girls there have been turned into sweet ladies as they are all acting so sweetly with everyone and that is just weird. She's taken to a woman they call the Duchess and Duchess goes on to tell her that this place is called Paradise which is an institution they use to heal people emotionally. Parents leave their girls at this institute so that they can become very well-mannered and behave like proper ladies. Uma is then told that she is just going to be there for two months and at the end of the month, she'll be suggested to reconsider the marriage proposal by Sun, which she recently rejected. Uma then sees a roommate named Yu, who is not too happy to see her because she does not like people, and Chloe, who is very welcoming of Uma. All of them are made to wear white dresses and when they are served dinner, the quantity of the food is very little. Uma feels a little weirded out as she goes on to see that Amarna is constantly staring at her. Chloe tells her that this is the famous singer Amarna Vicario. Uma then goes to the bathroom later and Amarna meets her there. She goes on to tell Uma that she is not that bad a girl and that she should not judge her by the cave incident. She says that she had to give her up to the guards because she did not want them to find the cave as she goes to smoke there. Uma still says that she is going to try and escape and Amarna tells her that she could help her. They decide to see each other at midnight and when Uma is about to leave, Amarna goes on to give her a soft kiss on the cheeks which weirds Uma out but she does not make much of it. Uma goes to her room but ends up falling asleep right away. The next morning when she sees Amarna, she right away tells her that she is sorry about last night but Amarna tells her that she also fell asleep as soon as she hit the bed. Later on, Uma is taken to the Duchess for therapy they call mirror therapy in which Duchess is going to ask some questions and Uma has to answer by looking in the mirror. She, however, tells Uma that if she does not feel like it, she is allowed to say no. Uma then goes on to tell her that she is sick of her mother. She then gets really worked up and goes on to say that she is still not going to marry and after that, she just storms out of there. Uma then goes to do some exercises which she does because she wants to get to know you better. There, she finds it hard to focus on the exercise because she thinks she hears something in the mirror wall. When she asks her teacher, the teacher tells her just to focus on the exercise. She is later taken to a room that is secluded. There, they make her sit on a horse and tie her up and the horse is raised almost as high as the ceiling. She is then shown a video of Sun who tries to tell her why she should marry him and Uma rolls her eyes. She starts getting extremely annoyed but the people there keep playing the video again and again much to her annoyance. She starts digging her own nails into her skin until she starts bleeding. They right away stop the video and apologize to her for that. Uma then goes on to tell the Duchess that no video is going to change her mind because she is already in love with someone but her lover belongs to the Lowers which is why her mother does not approve of him. The girls later on tell about their problems. Uma reveals that she belongs to an upper class but her family's financial condition is bad and that is why her mother of course wants her to marry son. Yu reveals that she suffers from anxiety so her parents sent her to this place. She reveals that she herself is from the lower class but her parents sent her to live with her rich uncle so she did not know how to behave properly which is why she has been sent to this place. A fat girl says that she has been sent there to lose weight and these people keep showing her videos of other people jogging and working out. The four girls have now formed a group and spend a good amount of time together. In their mirror therapy that day, Uma and Amarna go on to talk about a girl they met many years ago and they fell in love with her but the girl just disappeared. 
These two have no idea that they could very much be talking about each other. Uma then says that all she wants is a simple life with the man she loves, and Amarna says she just wants to go somewhere far away. Amarna tries to grab Uma's hand to comfort her, but this is when Uma sees her boyfriend named Marcus approaching her and ignores Amarna's hand. Marcus goes on to tell her that he has gotten a job at this place, his plan is to find a cargo boat and take Uma out of this place and they will go somewhere to start a new life together. He then takes her to an empty room and they make love while Amarna sees the two doing it with tears in her eyes. Later on when Uma is with the girls she goes on to reveal the plan, Amarna does not like it. She says Uma just has to pretend to work with these people for less than two months and she'll be out of this place. On top of that, she also says that Uma should not at all trust Marcus. All the girls then go on to sing songs, but when Amarna's turn comes, the teachers interfere, telling her that her song is inappropriate. When Uma goes to sleep that night, she sees her father's holograms in her locket, and when she wakes up in the morning, her locket is gone. She goes out only to learn that alarms are going off because an unauthorized boat has been spotted around the island. Uma asks what is going on, but the Duchess tells her to go on with her routine. She then grabs Uma and drags her out of there when Yu comes forward to defend Uma, which angers the Duchess, and she pins Yu against a wall. The girls then team up on the Duchess, and she apologizes to the girls for her behavior. Later on, Amarna takes Uma to the cave and shows her the boat, revealing to her that the unauthorized boat is actually the boat of the man who has been stalking Amarna. Uma and Amarna then decide that they are going to run out of this place. Amarna tells her to see her at midnight and also tells her not to drink the milk because the milk is mixed with a sedative that makes the person fall asleep right away. Uma agrees to leave, but she has to talk to Marcus first. Marcus also agrees when Uma talks to him. Everything goes according to plan, but at dinner, it is announced that Amarna will be leaving because she has graduated early. The girls then see each other in the bathroom and she goes on to give Uma a map of the place, telling her to sneak out of this place. Uma tells Amarna that she will find her, the two girls then go on to kiss and Amarna leaves. Uma stays up that night and when she tries to sneak out of there, she sees the men dragging the women just as Amarna told her. She then sees that there are too many cameras in that place, so she just pretends to be passed out on the floor. The men find her and take her back to her room. That day she is made to sit on the horse again and they go on to show her the video again. However, the video is different this time. This is the video of her deceased father. Uma seems to like the video, it makes her cry, but the mood changes when the video also shows the news of her father's suicide and she starts getting really frustrated. Uma demands the horse to be lowered and screams at those people. She then storms out of there asking Marcus for help, who does not help her at the moment as the guards arrive and take her away. She is taken to her own room, the servants later on bring her some food and milk, but she refuses to eat or drink anything. There is a voice in the walls that keeps telling Uma to drink and eat. Uma goes on to do so and as she drinks the milk, she goes to sleep right away. When she finally wakes up, she is again taken to another room where she is shown a different video yet again. This is a video of Amarna. Amarna is now back at her job, which is of course being a star in Bollywood. She has gotten back to her life and is having a great time. As Uma cries while watching this video, she is approached by the Duchess from behind. Uma, however, gets scared and goes on to push the woman away from her. Duchess hits her head and there is a visible cut, but she does not say anything to Uma and acts as if nothing has happened. She sits there in front of Uma and goes on to tell her that she has been sleeping for the last two weeks, adding that the time of her graduation is finally here. Uma is told that she will be leaving the island the next day. Uma right away goes to Yu and Chloe and she goes on to tell them that she does not want to be sent back to her family. She takes the two girls, Yu and Chloe, to the cave and shows them the boat. Uma then goes on to tell the girls that she wants them to escape with her. Chloe right away agrees to escape, but Yu says she is not going to do it. Uma then goes to see Marcus and they finally get to talk. He tells her that he is sorry for not being able to manage a boat to get out of this place. He tells her that he too will be out of this place in a few days and then he will see her and take her away. Uma pretends like she is still with him and goes on to agree with his plan. The two then hug each other and Uma ends up stealing a device with which she can control the cameras. Later that evening, Uma and Chloe go on to spit their milk in the bathroom and Yu also decides to join them. They pretend to be asleep when those people come to check in on them. They say that Chloe and Uma are good, but Yu still has one session left, so they take Yu away. The other two decide to save Yu. They right away go on to follow them and see the guards taking her to a hidden room behind a statue. The two girls right away sneak into that room. They are shocked to see that it is an operation theater and the doctors have Yu on the stretcher as she is ready to operate. There are two doctors. Chloe goes on to tackle one of them while Uma hits the other with a gas tank. 
The other doctor tries to attack her, but Chloe puts him down by making him smell the sedative meant for you. Yu is a bit dizzy herself, but the girls help her out of the room. Uma, Chloe, and a badly injured Yu manage to escape. They stumble into a control room where they learn that their therapy has not been to rehabilitate them, but to replicate them. Uma learns that Marcus never intended to rescue her, but was hired by Paradise to determine her behavior in sexual situations. As Uma and her friends run from the guards, they stumble into a room where they meet the replicants, poor and lower class women who have undergone extensive plastic and cosmetic surgeries and have been trained to mimic the voices and personalities of the patients so they can assume their identities. Yu dies and Chloe and Uma are forced to move on without her, but before they go, Uma leaves behind her memory locket of her father for her replacement and tells her that in order to fully embody Uma, she must hate Sun, the man responsible for her father's death. Uma and Chloe make their way into a garden where they see the lifeless bodies of former Paradise captives, including Amarna, ensnared in rose thorns. Uma sees the Duchess, who is revealed to be a vampiric rose bush, feeding on Chloe's body and is wrapped up in vines as the Duchess prepares to make her next victim. However, Uma's replicant saves her by pretending to be the real Uma, distracting the Duchess enough so that Uma can fatally stab her with a scalpel. Uma and her replicant Anna manage to escape in the rowboat. Anna reveals that she cannot return to her former life and so she and Uma develop a plan. Anna returns to Uma's wealthy family pretending to be Uma and marries son. On their wedding night, she remains downstairs while Uma herself seduces Sun and stabs him before they can have sex. Anna is thus free from blame as she was downstairs among many witnesses when the murder occurred. Anna discovers Sun's body and screams for help, now free to live her life as a wealthy widow. Uma, having secured her revenge, flees into the night to begin a new life, and with that, the movie comes to an end. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and click the bell icon to get new movie recaps.